Welcome back to my show. I'm Marina Cooperman, and today I'd like to discuss a topic that's a little bit different from my previous topics, uh, particularly parenting. Parenting uh, and touching on uh, the topic of teenage parenting. Uh, I may be, um, I am a medical professional, but I'm still a parent, and I know the day-to-day routine and I know the uh, tri- the trials and tribulations that we have to go through as parents uh, especially when we're dealing with children of various ages. Um, children are wonderful uh, at all ages but certain uh, times of their uh, growth and development we as parents don't always understand and it makes it a little bit more complicated for us to deal with uh, our children or understand our children uh, when it comes to uh, let's say for example teenagers. I have a teenager and one of the main things and one of the main issues that I've noticed particularly with my teenager is self-esteem and self-confidence and insecurities Um, and as many times as I can tell her that you're beautiful and you're smart and you're wonderful and you're an amazing person, uh, she, she's very much influenced by media and by her friends and by school and she's very much influenced uh, by things that she sees every day uh, in the world that make her a little bit insecure or make her uh, give her low self-esteem. You want to engage your child. It doesn't matter how old they are. Uh, children need to be engaged into into activities or into uh, your life or you need to be, you should be engaged into their life. Um, they need a lot of support. They go through these developmental stages uh, and while going through that there's a lot of emotional support there's a lot of physical support a lot of mental support coaching you sort of sometimes have to act as a little bit of like a counselor uh, and not so much as a parent Um, but and there's a fine line between being your teenagers or acting like your teenagers friend and act or being uh, like this parent figure Um, there's mutual respect that comes into play. So yes, it's very important for children to expect to respect their parents, but at the same time, we sometimes forget that it works both ways. And there is a certain level of respect uh, that goes both ways between the child and the parent and the parent and the child. Um, and I know that with my daughter, for example, um, I try to engage her into things that she likes, uh, activities that she likes, things that she likes to do, um, places that she likes to go, um, just to get her to build up that self-confidence and that self-respect and uh, do it with them. So it's easy to just give someone something and say, here, use this. Uh, It could be anything. Um, You're being engaged in your child's life means a lot uh, because not only are you giving them certain resources but you're also sharing the experiences with them and a lot of times it helps I know it helps with with my teenager uh, that when I engage when I sort of I we all live very busy lives and but sometimes we have to stop what we're doing and just take that time just something as simple as uh, playing a game with your child or watching your child's favorite movie or going to your favorite like ice cream place or walking around in the park on a beautiful day it's the the little things um, that you find that interest your child that you engage yourself in and it helps when it helps build a secure parent-child relationship. If 
you'd like more advice or more information, feel free to contact me at the office. Thank you for watching.